What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about TikTok and how we can shoot videos and use Adobe Premiere Pro to export them and upload them. So since the lockdown, TikTok has been a massive thing and everyone's been on TikTok producing videos and uploading content. The majority of people just use their phones to record and upload straight to TikTok from the app itself. However, sometimes if you want to produce better quality videos and better content, sometimes you need to record it on a DSLR or even on your phone, but edit it in an editing software to produce different colors or do different special effects. We're going to be looking at how we do that today and go forward with that. So what you need to do firstly is shoot a video on your phone or on your digital camera. When you're using your phone to shoot video, the best way is to use the built-in video app on the phone itself. When you're doing this, you have to bear in mind that the app itself is a vertical video style, so you need to shoot your video in a vertical video as well. There are some exceptions when you can use horizontal video or do some different tricks from vertical to horizontal, but we'll discuss them further on. The same with using a DSLR or some other professional video camera. What you need to do is make sure you shoot vertical rather than horizontal, or if you can only shoot horizontal, then you need to leave wide enough space so you can crop it in in the editing software. So first things first, you need to go into Adobe Premiere, and create a new sequence. So when you click on File, New Sequence, it brings up a box with all different settings. What you need to do is click on the second tab along, which is Settings, and this is where you need to change the video style in there. Generally, when you create a new sequence in Premiere Pro, it creates it in a 16 by 9 ratio. So what you need to do is change the sequence to a 9 by 16 ratio for vertical video. As you can see on the screen, it's got 1920 by 1080. So all you need to do is just switch those numbers around. So it'll be 1080 by 1920. So now, as you can see to the side of it, it now says vertical 9 by 16. Now, in your program sequence, you'll have your vertical video set up and that's it ready to go. Now what you can do is import your footage into the project and now you can start editing your footage to do what you want to do with it. What will happen is if you've got your vertical video, you can just drag it on the sequence straight away and that'll be vertical and that'll be done. What you may need to do though, is adjust some settings on the video for it to fit the actual sequence itself. Maybe too small, maybe too big. You can do that by clicking on the clip in the sequence and changing the settings on there. What you can also do on the clip in the sequence is right click on it and scale it up. As we stated earlier, if you filmed a horizontal video rather than a vertical one, however you still want to edit in vertical style, when you drag that clip onto the sequence, it may come up saying there's a clip mismatch and ask you to change the sequence settings or remain them as they are. What you do is keep the settings the same as they are, drag that video on and that video will fill the clip. Now what you need to do is the same as previous we spoke about, is to scale it down using the scale option or you can scale it to size to fit. And also what you may have to do is move your video to left or right to fit the framing that you want. Once you have your video clips in your timeline, it's a case of editing what you want to do. So even if it's a simple thing as clipping the beginning off, clipping the end off, maybe it's changing colours, brightness, that sort of thing, adding some music, whatever you want to do. Or if you're shooting something special with special effects like your green screen or what are the magic tricks, then what you can do is do all of those tricks in the sequence and that will be replicated in your final video. So once you're all sorted, now it's time to export the video so you can upload it to TikTok. So what you need to do is go to File, Export, and the Export window will come up. The maximum file size which you have for a TikTok video to upload from your phone is 290 megabytes. Generally, with your TikTok videos, you're looking at 15, 30, 60 seconds at a maximum, so your file sizes aren't going to be massive. So the file needs to be saved as a .mp4 or a .mov file. So the best way to do that, and what I use, the codec is H264. So you select that from the drop-down list, and we can change the settings from there. So once you've got your H264 codec sorted, and you click on the file name, and you name the file what you want to do when you save it. So once you've wrote your name down and you've got it saved, you click OK. That'll take you back to your export window. So now you need to look in the different sections below. We're in the video section and you need to double check that that file size for the ratio is 1080 by 1920 in a vertical video. All of the settings should be exact. You shouldn't need to change anything. You go down to VBR, that should be VBR one pass at 10 megabytes a second. And then everything else is left as standard. All you need to do is click on export and it'll start exporting your video. What happens now is you've got your video saved, so now it's time to get from the computer onto your phone. There's a number of different ways you can do it depending on your operating software of your phone and your computer. The way I do it is via AirDrop, because I've got a Mac and an iPhone, so they're perfectly synced together. The other way is you can use WhatsApp, you can send it via that, you can send it via email, you can send it via text message, whatever you want to get it onto your phone. Now the video is on your phone, all you need to do now is go onto TikTok. When you're in TikTok, you click the little button to create a new video or upload a video. 
Once you're in that screen, there's an option in there to upload. So you click the little box that says upload and it'll bring up your camera roll. Once you're in the camera roll, you click the video which you just created in Premiere Pro and it'll load up a screen. When you're in there, you can adjust the volume of the clip. You can do a number of different things. You can add the special effects and all of those other things. The other way what you can do, if you don't have music on your video and want to add video, you can do a search within TikTok, find the song you want, click on that and it'll let you create a video which you can then upload your video to match with that song. Once you've done all that, you go through to the next screen and you click next and it'll come up asking you to set your thumbnail, create the description and all of that other things. Do the things you normally would, so give it descriptions, give some hashtags, that sort of thing. Click next and it'll upload the video for you. Once all that's done and uploaded, your video will be on TikTok and it's the video which you've created in Premiere Pro. So anything that you've done in the editing software, that will now be on that video. So with all of this in mind now, you can create better content because you can create things which you couldn't just shoot on your phone, which you need editing software to do and create better content to upload on TikTok. The same goes for if you're doing different things like magic videos where you're going to predict things. You can actually put things on the screen by using Adobe Premiere and you can actually point to them and that sort of thing. Rather than doing it on your phone to put up emojis, whatever, you can actually put up pictures, you can put up other videos and that sort of thing within your own video. Hope you enjoyed the video and there's enough detail for you. So now you can take your video clips, go to Premiere Pro, export and upload to TikTok. And with doing so, you can create better quality content on TikTok. What I'm going to be doing in the near future is creating some TikTok tutorials for different effects which the popular TikTok people are using in their videos. So for one example is the video where they're doing a dance like that and the feet are moving so it looks like they're doing an air walk. So there's a few tutorials I have in mind so we can up your magic game on TikTok and create some fantastic videos. But until next time, see ya! What I've been doing, I've been learning a new trick and it's regarding Motorhead and the Ace of Spades. So I'll take that card put that in the middle of the deck and I can sort of do that shuffle it, click like Lemmy, top of the deck Hang on What? Deb Who are you married? He just did that in the middle of the room <laughs> Winter's come with the cold weather, and that means scarf weather. And I love wearing my scarf, but sometimes I don't know whether it's just sort of too warm like today to wear it, or should I just wear it and then if it gets too hot, I can take it off. I don't know. The other day I was walking down the street and I bumped into a wizard and we were talking about elements, and if we could sort of conjure up any element in the world, what would we conjure up? I said surprise, but apparently that's not a real thing. So instead, I've gone for fire. Do you guys want to see a card trick? No, you don't, and uh, neither do I. Um, so we're not going to do a card. I'm sick of card tricks. So let's go. The amount of times that I'm cleaning up the cards, I'm going to be saying quite a lot. That one didn't work as well. So while we're here too, we can also do some card tricks. And what we can do is riffle down. And when you tell me to stop, I can find your card. I think that one was much better.
has been practicing magic. So we'll look through here, say that five of hearts, we'll say that's your card. And what we can do is take the cards, flip them over, five of hearts. Today we're going to look about how we can change a playing card just by snapping. When you snap, it changes like that. Snap again, changes again. Snap, changes again.